everyone. Let's have a quick chat about reading when you cannot concentrate and you're busy. Because you know that I've been having troubles concentrating for probably about a year now. And my tendency or instincts were to gravitate to shorter books and a lot of novellas. So if you look at my Goodreads for the last few months, I read a lot of short books, I read a lot of novellas, and I'm not sure if that is the solution. I started this beautiful book on Friday last week and I'm not done. It's 159 pages and I'm still not done. And I figured I'd be done by Tuesday or so. And I found out that it's not the length of the book, but the writing that makes me read faster or slower. Last month I read Jacoby, which is a little bit bigger, 300 pages, and I flew through it. And the difference between Jacoby and the slow regard of silent things is this is pure description and this is a plot driven book. And I realized this a few weeks ago that I noticed that I didn't have trouble reading or finding the time to read when I actually wanted to pick up a book and know how it continues, what's going to happen next. So plot driven books, I can read pretty fast these days and I keep going for much longer than I can go for the books that I normally tend to gravitate to. Books that are character driven, that are character studies, that tell stories of people, that focus on writing and beautiful or strange writing, telling stories in different ways and where you really have to concentrate or like the gunslinger, you really have to get all the references. And this just takes longer. So. I realize I need to concentrate a little bit more on plot driven books these days until I find my concentration back or have more time to read. And I'm not really sure if I like that because you know me, I love reading complicated books. Tell me in comments what you think. Do you think reading plot driven books always is faster or easier than rather constructed books? Is that the word? I don't know. Let's talk about this in comments. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.